Alex Belfield. Welcome back to the world's best shows from Las Vegas. It's Alex Belfield talking to the stars of the biggest shows. And one thing that is very popular here in Vegas is the shows for adults, let's say, the R18 shows, the topless shows. And well, I'm so pleased to be joined by Cheryl. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Thank you very much for talking to me. I've just enjoyed your show, Crazy Girls, here at the Riviera. Describe for our audience what it is that you girls do. It's a topless show, but it's very artsy and very classy, and we're all trained dancers. I noticed sat here tonight a lady who was in her 70s just walked past me. Uh, Guys 18, 19, 20 obviously come to this kind of show. Middle-aged couples come. It seems as if this is across the board. Yes, we get people from all walks of life, every, every age, every nationality. You just never know. It's completely random who shows up to the show. And do you enjoy doing it? Because sat here as a deeply unattractive man, which I know I am, I kind of feel like you're kind of doing it out of some form of sympathy that I'm not attractive to get a lady myself. Oh, no, everybody. We all love doing the show. That's why we do it. It'd be very difficult to do it six nights a week if it wasn't something that you enjoyed. And what about the flirting with the guys? Is that kind of at times or how do you feel about that? Sometimes people just don't react to us at all, so you never know because we have no idea who's going to be in certain seats ahead of time, so you never know. Some guys have more fun with it than others, but for the most part, it's just a fun way of getting the audience more involved. Now, if you don't mind me saying, you're gorgeous, you're beautiful, you're attractive, that's why you're in the show. Do you worry that when you get older and it fades, that that suddenly you'll be out of work? Because this is a show for beautiful people, really, isn't it? Yeah, of course. I try not to think about that part because... I don't want to think about it until it happens, so... It's a great camaraderie between the girls as well. Yeah, we're all really good friends, and we do things outside of the show, and... Tell me about the rehearsal for the show. How long does it take to learn a routine like we've seen this evening? They last about three or four minutes, don't they? For the most part, just a day, maybe a couple-hour rehearsal. Most new girls, it only takes them about two weeks to get in the show, so it's not too... But once again, we're all trained dancers, so... Yeah, I was in ballet till like forever till I was 18 and then I started doing shows and performing so did you always let's say stand out from the crowd I mean you have to stand out to get hired so I guess you would say I must have (laughs) I hate to be cocky but and what's it like from your perspective I've always asked this question and I know people laugh at it when I, I do ask it but what's it like having guys thinking that you're amazing that feeling of being wanted must be tremendous yeah, it's, it's really quite a compliment, and I mean, that's why we love what we do so much, is because to get the audience's response every night and just boost our egos, and because when we have audiences that are just tired and they aren't giving much response, it's, it's kind of a letdown, and you realize how much, what a difference it makes when the audience is really into the show and, and clapping and cheering, and it just gives you more energy when they're, when they're giving you energy. There's one of these shows in all of the casinos. They're very, very popular. Why are we so curious to see beautiful girls on stage? It may be a silly question. It's kind of a sinful thing. I mean, there's still so many conservative groups out there that respond negatively to this kind of entertainment. And so when someone comes to the show, it's like they're doing something kind of bad and and they're just kind of testing the waters to get an adrenaline rush. Don't come, though, is what I say. If you're not interested, don't turn up. Yeah, because we'll get a lot of disgruntled wives or or even, I mean, not to point them out, but obviously there's some people who don't enjoy the show and, and more times than not, they'll be sitting right in the front row and just kind of wondering why they even came if they're not going to enjoy it or if it's not something that they wanted to take part in. Tell me about how you become you and you keep this amazing body and the fitness. It's hard work being fit, isn't it? It is, and... I mean, I have to say, for the most part, we're all blessed to begin with. So, you know, if you start from something, <laughs> it's easier to keep it in shape. And But we all do. Um, we go to dance classes during the day. We go to the gym. Um, different people do different things. Um, Pilates, yoga, kickboxing. Diff- everybody has their own kind of niche of what they do to stay in shape. And Some people believe that you're abused and this is wrong and you shouldn't be asked to be in a show like this. How do you reply to them? Because you girls seem to be happy. Nobody's forcing you to do this and it's a fun show. How do you feel about that? Oh, I totally disagree. I mean, we're all having the time of our life and to take that away, it just, I mean, and we're not crossing that line. This is, this is, like I said, this is a classy, artsy show. It doesn't have, there's nothing wrong with it and 
you don't want to see it, don't come. <laughs> and you know what? Baby, if you've got it, flaunt it. That's what I saw. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> this show will always have its knockers, won't it? Oh, of course. <laughs> Thank you very much for talking to me. It's a real pleasure meeting you, and you are gorgeous. Just to confirm for my own ego, there's no way that a lady like you would date an ugly man like me, is there? Maybe. <laughs> Cheryl, you're delicious, you're gorgeous, you're fantastic. Thank you so much for talking to me. Oh, yes, it's great fun. The Alex Belfield In Conversation podcast with daisymedia.co.uk Alex Belfield